You know, I'm forever preaching to coaches about the tremendous impact they have on young athletes' performance, and more importantly, their lives outside of sports, and the two are intertwined. Now, many coaches vastly underestimate the power of being an authority figure, and they need to understand that, especially those younger athletes, they take the words they use very seriously and literally. Now, of course, kids in their teens, they do have a thicker skin than, say, a 10-year-old. But even so, I have helped countless athletes of all ages clear out the interference patterns and the fears that have come from coaches' thoughtless comments. Because fear is the biggest block from any athlete achieving their mental strength. And coaches have to protect athletes from creating this kind of interference, or they just risk throwing away talent and actually harming their own success goals as a coach. Well, coaches and parents must understand if they want to get the most out of young athletes is that you can't treat all athletes the same and expect them all to rise to that narrow method that you think you have of bringing out their best. In other words, parents and coaches get stuck on this Well, it worked for me growing up, so it should work for my young athlete. And coaches tend to be even more stubborn with attitudes like, well, I've had success doing it this way, and therefore everyone should fall in line. Both attitudes, they completely ignore the fact that maybe they or their past success happen to be a good match for those particular kids or that particular parent. But the athletes you're dealing with now, or your own kid, it's a complete mismatch for that method. Now sports, it's a unique laboratory environment for studying performance. In the business world, it's been long known that to get everything out of an employee, you have to find what motivates each individual employee and exploit that. Now contrast that to sports where coaches at high levels of competition, they can just afford to to, to be their rigid self because there's always players waiting in the wings to take the place of the current players, right? Players are expendable. There's a never-ending supply of players to fill the slots vacated by the players who just can't hack it. So what I'm really trying to say in this video is many coaches They throw away as much talent as they develop with their one-size-fits-all mentality. They would be so much more effective by studying the psychology of what makes players tick, (laughs) like really successful coaches such as Phil Jackson comes to mind, Tom Landry, Tommy Lasorda. These coaches, they can take any players and guide them to their best. Now, getting back to coaches' impact on youth athletes, if you were to interview a hundred kids in sports and ask them about things coaches have said to them, (laughs) at least 50 would tell you about something that really hurt them at the time. And many of those would still be carrying around the detrimental effects. Even things that adults would think would be minor or, or, or designed to inspire a kid, they're really taken to heart especially the younger ones. Coaches, everyone's working hard out there. Every coach pushes hard work, that's a given. If you want the winning edge, it's in the minds of your athletes and not yours. And it's your job to find that and inspire that because they're the ones that play the sports. Do not ever think that you have the perfect winning formula. Be flexible, continue to learn, especially about the mental game. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer. Let's do this.